Hello everyone from all over the world, this is Nick and welcome back to Valheim. In the last episode we fortified the fortress and we found the amazing weapon, the, the Staff of the Wild. I said in the last episode that um, off screen I was going to fortify the base even more and build a platform to launch with a catapult and that is what I did. I spent about an hour or two hours and probably like a thousand grouse den all together and made this uh massive tower i'm gonna put another portal there there's plenty of room for portals here you climb up here look at this massive 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 tower going all the way up to here this is where the catapult is guys i've never done this before i've seen a couple videos here and there but i've never done it myself I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I've got enough to make a, a temporary base and everything. And I'm just going to make sure before I launch that I'm still recording just in case. Yep, I'm still recording. Here we go. So what you do is you got to sit in here and you got to place some type of item in there. So I'm going to put, let's see. Yeah, I don't need this ash wood. Actually, I don't really need the grouse den all that much. I'll do that. I'll switch this out here. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Darn it. Figures I would land against that. All right. How far did we actually get before I hit something? Let's see. Let's get up some more. Oh, wow. Where did I actually I land it? I, so I got all the way from there to here, which is closer. It is closer. That is, to be fair, it is closer than it was. And I got to this really cool ruins area here. So this might be another decent spot. Let's get up to a higher, safer area here. Darn it. I keep trying to climb up. It's not letting me that easily. Trying to get up to sa relative safety up here. There we go. And so I can take a look at the lay of the land and get an idea. Alright, here we go. There's a new... That's, that's a whole different new fortress. It's surrounded by lava. So this is actually a decent spot. We didn't quite get to the mysterious location, but we... The next best thing, we found a new, entirely new fortress area to find. Because it has the green beacon, which ours does not anymore. Because we destroyed the thing the, where the bells come from. We got this really cool area with the fiddle. Another area to get um, the fiddleheads from. This is a, aside from getting to the mysterious spot, this is the next best thing we could have gotten. So now the next tricky part is to survive and place a new where to place a new uh portal at i'm thinking that rocky mountain mound over there is a good spot i thought about putting it up here at first but that might not be that good um so yeah that's the next spot that's the next uh thing to do we didn't quite get to the mysterious location but it, as a consolation prize, we found another fortress. It might have another jade in it. It might have an, a bloodstone. I'm hoping for jade or bloodstone. If it's an LOL, it's a low light, then that's the next best thing. But at any rate, I'm going to have to... Uh... Alright. No, oh, God. It figures. It freaking figures, doesn't it? Oh, God. It figures. Oh, man. I don't even have my Staff of the Wild out either. That's one mistake I did, is I, I, I don't have it out. Oh, dear lord. And, and there's a freaking Valkyrie. There's all kinds of bad stuff here. Oh, no. Oh. Where is the Staff of the Wild, even? Where did it go? Oh, dear lord. Did I use the Staff of the Wild to, to launch? Oh, no, I did. I did use the Staff of the Wild to launch. 
Oh man. I meant to use the Grouston. I'm gonna stop recording for a moment and confirm that I made quite possibly the stupidest mistake you can make. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Oh no. Alright guys, so I looked back at the footage and I indeed made one of the, quite possibly one of the stupidest mistakes you can make, which is use a vital item. I got basically the Grouston and the Staff of the Wild confused, but the bright side is I don't think it went far, I think it just stayed on the base. So now basically we just have to survive. I don't know how we're going to survive, but we have to survive and set up a portal somehow without the Grouston. Without the uh, Staff of the Wild, I mean. Oh, the Morgan's here as well. Perfect. Jesus, what knocked that down? Jesus, man. This is, it went both as bad and as good as can be expected. All right. Let's see if we can somehow survive through this. Yeah, come on. Alright, if we can get rid of the Morgan, I think that's going to be one of the key things. I don't see any spawners too close by. There's a couple, like one right there and one over there. That's going to be one of the priorities to take care of. And then eventually we'll have to get that taken care of there. Okay, we got four of them taken care of here. Alright, we'll push them off and then they'll fight the Morgan. Come on. Freaking. There we go. Without the Staff of the Wild, it's going to be tricky to deal with all this, because that's my, ironically, my most, my favorite and my most powerful weapon I've got. <laughs> I just basically chucked. But luckily, I think, watching the footage back, it just landed in the same spot. Where did the Morgan go? I don't know. This might be, uh, get the workbench already prepped here. All right, so put it right here, and then build a border around it.
All right, come on. All right, actually, we managed to salvage it. I'm just hoping once I make the portal back that this is a good spot. Still, this is a good spot right next to the fiddleheads and next to that that one over there. So even though we didn't get to the mysterious location, we found the next spot, the next fortress. And hopefully the staff of the wild when we get back to the to the base part will be uh will still be good. And I ran out of stone, so we're just gonna have to make do with this. Still pretty high up, not too bad. Alrighty. Alright, so here's the moment of truth, guys. I forgot to mark that spot as well. I should have marked it. I'll go back and mark it. But first we'll look for the Staff of the Wild, because it is see if it's... With, with, if we're very lucky, and by the looks of what it seemed like on the thing, then... Then hopefully it landed in the same spot. I'm hoping it did. It did not. It did not. I have no idea where it is. I can just look in a general direction going this way and see. Oh man, it did not land. All right, so going from that point this way, let's see. Did it land down here at all? That was probably the stupidest thing I could have done. It probably was. Freaking the best weapon I had is gone now. It's just gone. Where it is, I have no idea. Yep. It's just gone now. Unless I picked it up by accident somehow. I don't think I did. Nope. It's just gone now, guys. It's gone. I'm going to take a quick look around my base, but I'm pretty sure it's gone. I'll be back. So I guys. tried to retrace my steps um, when I launched basically in a diagonal line, and I looked and looked for the Staff of the Wild. I could not find it, so I basically... I've lost it, most likely. I'm going to have to go around the area and destroy the spawners and get things prepped to go into the fortress, which will be the next episode. Don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure before you press the button of the item that it's the item that you don't mind being launched with a catapult. I got 5 and 8 confused, and that's where I made my mistake. I most likely lost the Staff of the Wild. And hopefully there'll be another jade in this fortress. <laughs> um, I'm hoping. Don't make the same mistake I did, guys. Um, sorry this is kind of a short episode, but I have a lot of prep work to do before we can do the next episode. And basically the prep work I'm going to do is just getting the portals, uh, not the portals, getting taking care of the spawners and all that stuff. And getting ready to invade the fortress. I was hoping to use the staff at the wild to invade the fortress, but that looks like that's just not going to happen this time, guys. But, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.